Hi everyone, it's Jay Quinton here from First Track Dance and welcome back for another YouTube video. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be turning this into this. Okay, so today we're doing a large rear door dent on a Volkswagen Polo. If you've seen some of my other YouTube videos, you'll notice that I have actually done a, a large door dent repair before on a, a VW Polo, which is about here. If you haven't seen that one already and you're interested in seeing it, go check that one out. So basically someone's turned in and damaged this car with their, probably with their bumper. The car was parked up, the customer didn't see it happen, but it's left a very substantial dent on the rear door. It's quite a complex dent, it's got lots going on. We've got quite a large impact crease here and the body line is actually quite flattened so that's going to be difficult to try and reshape um, there's a groove also running in the top the frames kinked at the bottom here as well where it's gone and it's twisted so it's also deformed at the top here as well we've got a, a large protruding crown here where it's again it's kind of twisted the frame um, we've got the crash bar here as in my previous repair on the Volkswagen Polo door you've seen the crash bar runs this way so the crash bar is pushing out we can't really deal with that until we've pulled this section out. So we're going to release all the tension from the crash bar. Once that's out, we can then address that. We can tap that down, remove that. We've also got secondary damage. This was damaged before this actually happened, but we're going to get this out as well. And also, I believe this was a separate incident as well on this, this dent here. So the customer is actually a student studying at the moment. He's taken this to a few body shops and the repair bill for something like this was just astronomical. So. He found me online. I initially looked at it from the photos uh, and said, I think he's probably gonna need a new door. The customer said to me, look, I'm only looking for an improvement. If you can get it out as best as you can, that'd be great. But I'm taking it on as a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna see how, how good we can get this. I'm hoping to get it to a stage where we can get it to about 95, 98%. It's a good example of what PDR can do if used in the right way. So I've got the glue gun warming up. I've got my tools ready. So let's get started. So I've tried my best with the glue pulling on this. Unfortunately, I think the metal is just too tight. There's too much tension in the panel for the glue to pull this panel out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the internal trim off. I'm gonna go inside the panel using traditional PDR tools and we're gonna push it out that way. From the noises I'm getting from tapping this panel, I can tell that the panel is actually stretched. So I can't work in one area too much as I could lose the panel. It could just end up sinking in and then just popping in and out. So I'm trying to move around different areas of the panel, tightening it up, spending a bit of time here, then spending a bit of time over here, bringing the low out here, tapping this high spot here. Because if you spend too long on one area, you will stretch it. 
you've got to kind of slowly just manipulate it all back and hope that we can get the tension back in the panel. Now I'm just moving back over to this area here where there's loads of tiny little micro low spots. Let's see if I can remove some of those. Okay, so the repair is just getting close to the halfway stage now. This area here is particularly giving me a lot of trouble. Um, when I'm tapping around this area here, it almost sounds like a steel drum. So I'm having to work that area very, very carefully using now some very sharp tools. I'm probably going to give myself a bit of a break on this one now and move over to this dent here. This is quite a standard dent to do. And then maybe move over to this one. This one's a little bit more tricky. And then come back to this area and do all the fine detail work to finish it off. There's quite good access up into this area here, so there's no uh, obstructions, so I may use, uh, I think I'm going to use the bendable Johnson maybe on this, bend it to shape a bit. There we go, that dent's now done. Okay, so this dent's a little bit more tricky. It's very, very close to this edge, so the edge is very strong. If you look carefully down this, this angle, you can see that the edge has gone in slightly, so that is also gonna create a lot of strength in this dent. So I think I'm gonna try and pull it out with some glue. Once I've got as much as I can up with the glue, then I'll go in behind and push it out using the PDR tools.
Okay, so we've finished repair. We've done it just in time as daylight is just now disappearing. We started off with the glue pull in. Didn't have too much success with it. Some of the glue tabs did stick. It may have been that the, the metal was just so creased and it was so tight and strong that it just didn't want to move. I knew that we'd have to go inside the door at some stage with the PDR bars and push the damage out from the inside. So I used the ultra dense screw on tip bar with a large, large rubber tip on this one. Again, I went down the, uh, almost like going down the grades really from the large tip to the rubber tip to the nylon tip then to the fine metal tips. It's probably about 90% on this bit here. Couldn't really work it too much because the metal was stretched and we were in danger of losing it and we had to bear in mind that we was only trying to improve this repair. I think we've had a fantastic result on this one considering most body shots would put a door on this all day long. I think we managed to save the door, save the customer some money on this one and um, yeah achieve a great result. So once again thanks for watching if you like this video it'd be great to get a thumbs up and if you want to see and learn more about paint extent removal then subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified as soon as new videos are available but for now we'll see you on the next video.